Hello guys, in this video, I'm just going to explain how to modify your current project settings like resolutions, color space, frame rate, etc. So for example, by default, right, it will be taking 1080 pixel on this cap cut. So in order to modify, right, once you place in the timeline or before you start the project settings, if you're creating a new project or existing project, there is an option on the right side, modify. So you can just click on this modify and here you can change the frame rate, resolution, aspect ratio, everything. For example, if you're trying to edit 4K videos and if you want to convert into 1080 pixel uh, project resolutions, you can convert that. So example, here you can set the name, test, whatever you want, you can keep it that. And then the aspect ratio, right? 16 is to 9 for 4K or 1080 pixel, it will be good. And if you're going to edit for your mobile, here you can see the diagrams. Okay, according to the size. So I'm going to keep it the ocean because that is a 4K video. And if you want to change that, you can change that to 16 is to 9. But the resolution adapted automatically it will be uh, picking up. But if you want to change, you need to choose this custom. And uh, it is taking 1080 pixel and 30 FPS. And if you want to change that, right, simply you need to type it like 3840 for 4K to 160. So it's a 4K resolution. And uh, I'm just going to verify this. Okay, cool. Okay. And then I'm going to change this uh, frame rate to 60 FPS and color space is SDR. And if you want to change to a dynamic range, HLG or PQ, what you need to do is you need to uh, choose this HDR. Okay. Sometimes it will not be allowing you to choose the HDR while saving. So I'm going to save now. I'll be getting this error. Device not supporting HDR. Current monitor does not support HDR color space. We'll use SDR color space. But my monitor have this HDR privileges. So I'm going to enable that. What you need to do is, if you're using Windows 10 or Windows 11, just open settings. Go to settings. And here type HDR. HDR settings. Choose that and then it will become to system and then display. Use HDR is disabled. So that's why I'm having that problem. So I'm going to enable it. Okay. Once you enable your monitor will be automatically uh, flickered and it will be changed. Okay. And also you have seen the HDR is on now. You can click this option as well for more HDR. So completely the HDR. Okay. So HDR is supported. So you can use the HDR. So now what I'm going to do is going back to CapCut. I'm going to click on this modify because already I have changed it. So here I'm going to choose this dynamic range. This time I should not be getting any error. I'm going to give save. So this project, it shows SDR. So I'm going to give modify. And here I'm going to choose this original to 16 is to 9. Or I can keep original. Add a, Adapted can be like that. And this is 60 FPS. And this one, I'm going to change it to HDR. And I'm going to save. This time, I should not be getting any error. So the complete project is changed. Also, you can see this color space is changed. Okay. Now you can export in 4K or 1080 pixel as well. So that's it, friends, is the way you can modify the projects and you can fix the HDR issue. So that's it friends, hope this video is very much helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Please spread the comments and feedbacks. Media forms. Thank you. Bye and take care.